Um, I'll make it quick for those that don't really care about the specifics. Basically, you'll get the most performance out of using all medium settings. And if you use all high settings, you'll lose anywhere from 10 to 25 percent um, of your FPS in terms of performance. And I think it should be similar for most people. But if you need every frame you can get um, and don't mind the way it looks, just use medium. Now, if you want to see enemies in dark areas better, turn down your contrast. Right here. Uh, it should be different for everybody. Everyone has a different monitor. Usually. Uh, default is 1. If you turn it down to 0.5, you can see pretty much anything in a dark corner. But uh, I chose to go the median route so my game doesn't look too washed out. And um, use 0.75. This is pretty good for me. Now, for those that want to min-max and optimize for, you know, visibility and FPS, let's, uh, let's get started. I'll show you what I got. Actually, let me just kind of show you quick. Let's set everything to medium, right? Everything's medium here. Take a look at the frames. Let me reset it. All right, we got an average FPS of 195-ish. Uh, yeah, let's we'll just say 195-ish. 198, apparently. All right, we're around there. But now if we go to high... And we're going down. Yeah, our average was almost 200. And now it is slowly going down towards the 170s. 160, 168, 167. That's a, that's a 20 to 30 FPS drop. Yeah, so quite a bit. Let's optimize our settings now. We'll just go through things one by one. Field of view. Um, if you want to be able to shoot things and see things better, Try 80 or 90. 90 is the default. But if, I guess if you have a really big monitor, like, you know, plus 30 inches, 110 wouldn't be too bad. But uh, the game feels kind of weird here, so I leave it at 90. Also, there wasn't too much of a FPS difference for me anyways. It was like one or two FPS. Something negligible. All this. Preference. Oh, and head shape, please, for the, for the love of whoever just keep this on low you'll 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 think yourself all right and then graphics screen resolution use your native monitor resolution I'm playing on 1440p most people should be on 1080 um, but if you're really hurting for frames I guess you could play on on a lower lower resolution you'll probably gain a ton of FPS but it won't look that great um, vsync keep this off no one loves this. And then resolution sampling type. There's really only three that I've seen working for people. And it's either close, FSR 2.0, or DLSS. If you have a 4000 series like me, um, DLSS will probably work for you. But if you don't, try FSR 2.0 and close. There was like a 10 or 20 FPS difference for me when I was testing them out. And then screen mode. Um, windowed full screen. I liked alt tab a lot, so I'm going to keep it there. Okay, and overall quality. We're just going to set everything to medium for now. And then max FPS. Um, I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I keep it at 240. If you have 144, you could probably lower it. Keep it at 144. What this does is it limits your frame rate, which can reduce your GPU usage. And if you have things like other apps, streaming or recording software going on, you might want to do this. All right, but moving on, view distance. I lost maybe anywhere between one and three FPS, but I'd rather be able to see or spot enemies far away. So I'm just gonna leave this on high, anti-aliasing. I didn't notice too much of a difference on my screen, but if you're seeing too many weird, like, stair-steppy or jagged edges, you might want to turn up the high. I, did, I didn't notice anything, so I'm leaving it on medium. Shallow quality. This uh, tanked my FPS anywhere from, like, 5 to 10 FPS. 
but the shadows look a lot better. They're not blurry, they're not blobby. So I like to keep this on high. Resolution, keep this on high. Post processing, keep it on medium because I didn't notice the difference. Texture quality, um, like right now I'm using around eight gigs of uh, VRAM. But if I had this on high, see how much it uses. Yeah, I guess there's really not a, much of a difference. Usually raising textures would raise my VRAM, but I guess it really doesn't. So, keep this on high. Um, albeit I have a 40, 4070, so I shouldn't have any trouble with this anyways. But effects quality, I'm assuming this is for smokes and gas, grenades, stuff like that. Um, just keep it on medium because uh, I'd rather be able to see than have all the effects be extra fancy. Vegetation, this this one tanks um, FPS quite a bit too, but if you have it on medium, you're gonna see vegetation like rocks, twigs, bushes, trees, grass just kind of pop in out of nowhere, and that's really annoying to me. So uh, I leave this on high, but if you don't care about that. Um, go ahead and just leave it on medium. Shader quality. Um, I sat there looking at before and after pictures for actually both these settings, and I can't really tell the difference. So I'm just leaving these on medium. We're saving it. Yeah, so these are the optimized graphic settings I have. Kind of met somewhere in the middle. Right, I have um, half of them high and the other half medium. Boom. Leave it right there for a second. And then sharpness, this should help too. Uh, I guess it just really depends on your monitor, but anywhere from one to six is what I've seen people using. I like, for me, I like one or two, just because it adds a little bit of sharpness. I don't really like too much sharpness. Do, 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 do. Uh, I think that's all the FPS stuff, really. Um, oh, you can play for zeroing distance. I kept everything at 50 meters up until the 4x scope. Just so it just kind of stays the same all the time and I'm not always changing it. Uh, more consistent for me and I haven't really been missing any shots due to zeroing, so it's been been pretty good. I also tested process lasso for a little bit of CPU optimization on here and that didn't make a difference at all since this game is very GPU based. Okay, so you've opened up your NVIDIA control panel. Uh, we're going to go to manage 3D settings. Do, 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 do. Under global. I like to always make sure my shader cache size right here is set to unlimited. Um, or a hundred. I have all the space right now, so I'm just gonna leave it unlimited. And then we'll go over the program settings. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If you don't have this selected already, make sure you go ahead and add Arena Breakout to it. So it's application specific only to ABI. Then I'll go over the important stuff. Um <laughs> low latency mode right here. Use Honor Ultra, but be careful with this. If you notice a lot more stuttering for whatever reason, turn it off. But for most games, I use Honor Ultra. Ultra seems to be working fine for this game. Power management mode. Prefer maximum performance. And then here's the stuff that matters. So save you a little bit of FPS. Turn this on. Leave this to allow, but if you want your game to look a little bit more crisp, you can have this on clamp. I just use allow for right now. And then the most important setting out of these four is the texture filtering quality. Um, by default, it should be quality, but if you really need that extra performance, 
try performance or high performance. You'll you'll probably gain quite a bit of FPS from switching th to these two, but the game will look a little bit less visually appealing. So I'm just going to stick to quality. And then Trilinear Optimization, have it on. I haven't seen any weird artifacting or shimmering from having these two things on, so that's what I've been using. So yeah, that's basically it for the settings. If anyone finds any cool little optimizations, or if I forgot something, let me know. And um, by the way, I'm on a 1440p monitor with a NVIDIA 4070 Ti and a Ryzen 7800X3D. So for those of you playing on 1080p, you should get a lot better performance than I am if you're using um, hardware on a similar level. And for the most part, this game is pretty optimized. I don't think I've seen a game look this good that can be ran at 240 FPS in 1440p, you know? Well, anyways, hope this helps. If you have any questions, ask in the comments or hop in the Discord. Thanks, bye.